Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new video for NEI. Today, we're going to talk about how to update your TSC3 Windows embedded handheld operating system to 3.0.3. Before we get started, it's more important that before you update that you back up all your data on your TSC3 uh, because this update will erase the ranger of the TSC3. So make sure to navigate to your Trimble data and copy all that Trimble data folder and put it on your desktop. Just have to make sure that you copy all the data to your computer. Uh, second thing you want to do, uh, you want to download the Windows Embedded Handheld Operating System, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All you have to do, are you going to your Trimble website, uh, support A to Z, and then you need to find the TSC3 controller, and you download your firmware, and you click on the Ranger 3 series, TSC 3 series. Once you click on this, it's going to download. And actually here, you can read all step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the download. Okay, after we finish copying all the data to the computer, make sure before you run the installation package to be prepared to reinstall all the third-party programs uh, when you install the firmware. Because you're not going to only lose your data, but also you're going to lose all the software that's installed on your data. Right? So now I'm going to show you how to run that installation by uh, following the installer package. Uh, you run it, and then you're going to click on Next. And then you're going to accept the terms, and you click on Next again. And then you hit install, and then you hit install again, and then you can see the installation uh, process. When this is finished, you click on finish, and now you are uh, ready to install the operating system. So to install the operating system, you go to all programs, uh, you search for uh, Trimble, and then you go to TSC3 Ranger firmware update. And then you run the update, you click on next, next. Now this is a very important process because you need to reset your ranger. To reset your ranger, you press and hold the power down key. You're going to see three seconds, two seconds, one. Once start reboot, you click on the OK. At the same time, you're holding the power button. And this is should put uh, your data collector into USB mode. So again, I will repeat, when you reset your Ranger by holding the power button down for a few seconds, under the countdown appears, then you release and tap the reset button. After you see the white screen that says bootloader at the top, you will then see a red, green, blue, gray vertical stripe line. As soon as you see the red, green, blue, gray vertical strip line, press the power and then press OK button to enter the USB mode until you see the next screen. Okay, once, once you see the next button, you want to make sure that you connect an AC adapter uh, on your Ranger. And then you connect uh, the Ranger to the PC via USB and then you click Next. And then you're going to see uh, another Next. And you accept, you hit next, and now it's going to update your operating system on your data level. And you can see your process on the screen. This should take about a minute or so. And you can see all the components that you are trying to update. All right, when this is completed, uh, all you have to do is hit next, and then you click finish, and then you're going to follow the instructions on your data collector screen. So first, you want to set up your language to English, and then you want to hit yes on your screen, click next, and this is going to configure your device, 
and you're going to see a bar showing the progress and the status of uh, your configuration. This should take about a couple of minutes, depending on how fast is the update process going on. Then your device will be restarted, and you're going to follow the instructions on your screen, running Windows Embedded Handheld for the first time, like as a factory or reset. Then you're going to tap the screen to set up your Windows Embedded Handheld. You're going to align your screen, and then you're going to put a password, or you're going to skip the password, and then you tap the screen to begin using your device. So, after you start your Windows Embedded Handheld, uh, you will make sure that you can go and change your time, uh, your central, uh, your time zone. You will make sure that you, your date and your time is correct. You hit OK. You hit Yes for changes. And now, there is nothing installed on your device, so make sure that you connect to Terminal Installation Manager. You want to make sure that you are connected, and then you can proceed by installing the appropriate version of Trimble Access. Make sure that you are licensed for it, and you can click on the language. You can select you know, English. This is, for, by the way, for the voice command, and then you hit Install. Once uh, Trimble Access is installed on your data collector, you can click on Finish, and then you can agree on that, and hit OK. Now you see, none of your settings is there, so you need to bring back the information that you backed up on your computer, and then you should be good to do it. Yeah, make sure that uh, you are connected uh, via Windows Mobile Device Center, and once this is connected, you don't want to register, you go back, and then you upload everything under Trimble Day. Alright guys, that's what we'll conclude today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again in another video, and have a nice day.